listen very carefully to what I am about to say, because I choose my words carefully and I never repeat myself. Those of you that are listening to this know me well. However, for the purposes of continuity, I will begin with a story that you are familiar with. I was born imperfect, as all humans are. Immediately, this imperfection manifested itself in a way, though fairly prevalent, was unnatural. I had no desire to behave like a normal child. I've been told that I showed early signs of autism. This theory was proved false, however, as an infant, I was innately obsessed with seemingly mundane imperfections. I spent hours on repetitive tasks, like finding the perfect block to build with. The growing concern within my family led most to believe that action needed to be taken. At this time in my life, I learned that I was not a simple case. There was something else. I began to see that life wasn't just simply breathing and eating, but rather a search for perfection. A fault that I had never been able to get rid of. I started to see the potential in everything, and more importantly the flaws holding back the potential. I was too single-mindedly focused to excel in school, which was illustrated when I was first placed in public education. Somehow I was expected to thrive in this new environment, but I was antisocial and unfocused, or rather I was not focused on classes. It wasn't long before I was pulled out of school and my parents attempted homeschooling. My obsession with perfection had far from disappeared by this time. It in fact was nearly the sole reason that I was no longer attending school. In homeschool I did no better in any core academics to the dismay of you, my family. Yet this was not lost time. I found myself delving far deeper into studies than before. I learned of the miraculous golden mean and how it is able to show perfection not only in mathematics but in all aspects. It is present in nature, even in the plants that grow. I was amazed. During this chapter in my life, I truly strove for my idea of perfection and all I saw with a fervor that I had never before experienced. Observing trees, birds, and even rocks, the obsession found itself manifesting in absolutely everything that I came across. My nose had never been deeper in my books and my studies. I began to stay inside for days and lose large amounts of sleep over my pursuits. I found the perfection I sought in many things, actually with time all things. Life became more clear and happier. The world became black and white and the ideals that I strived for became more simple and concise. Then I realized that I had never searched for the perfection in subjective things. This was my next task in the hell that had become my life. Art was my final endeavor. Art is the most subjective form of expression. The aspects of emotion, tone, colors, textures, shapes, forms of art cannot be judged simply on the basis of viewpoint of the viewer. The viewpoint of the creator must also be considered just as deeply. Finding the perfection in all of these aspects and still having them combined together to make a complete work became an impossible task. Yet I was not willing to give up. I searched in galleries for weeks and still could not find a single piece that I could call perfect. After months of searching with no avail, I realized that the perfect artwork had not yet been created. Man is flawed, and is the only creature that contains within himself no perfection. So how could man create perfection if he did not already contain it? By stripping off the human bonds that tie us together and create this imperfect society. This is the task that I have placed before myself. I must leave society and shed its chains to become that which I have sought. So here I sit, leaving you this last piece of my life as a human and an imperfect being. country road and the strong scent of evergreen from the passenger seat as you are driving me home then looking upwards I strain my eyes and try Between 
shooting stars and satellites from the passenger seat as you are driving me home. Do they collide? I ask and you smile. With my feet.